living well your way. Hi, I'm Jeannie with Warriors Warehouse, and we're here today at the Rec Center to uh, have our team warrior demonstrate proper lifting techniques. So we're going to be going through some of the core lifts that uh, are basics as far as building muscle, uh, kind of getting compound movements that cover multiple parts of the body. We're going to go over those uh, technique wise so that you get the best bang for your buck. All right, well let's get to it and let Trevor do all the hard work. So the first lift that we're going to cover is the bread and butter to any weightlifter or uh, power lifter, and that's going to be the squat. And what better person to have you demonstrate that technique than uh, Quadzilla or Trevor Hawkins. So uh, one of the first things that you want to pay attention to is positioning of the bar. Uh, a lot of people will position the bar up too far on the shoulders. You want that to ride right uh, on your traps, kind of right at the rear delt, uh, so that you're not uh, having all that pressure on your spine. Uh, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, and you want those to be pointed forward. And then uh, you'll see uh, Trevor has his back real tight. He's holding the, the bar right up in tight in that position. You want it super tight so you can control the weight. Go ahead, Trevor. And, uh, so as you see, uh, Trevor goes down. He's going really deep. And I guarantee that uh, if you're not going uh, past parallel, you're not going to get as much out of your uh, squats. So you want to go down slowly, make sure that you're controlling that weight. Most people, uh, their, their biggest mistake is that they go down too fast, come up uh, very slowly, which you want the opposite. You want to be exploding up, controlling that weight on the down. Uh, another thing that uh, you really want to pay attention to, as you see with Trevor, he's got his head pointed up. He's basically looking upwards, and that's gonna basically help you keep that weight position further back uh, so that you're not leaning forward and getting some of that uh, back tension. And that's the squat. So we're now we're here with uh, Tony and we're gonna go on to the next lift. Uh, this lift is probably the one that'll give you the most uh, overall body power. Uh, that's gonna be the deadlift. We're gonna show you a couple different variations uh, first, uh, Tony's going to show you the standard deadlift uh, with a standard uh, uh, hand hold on the bar. Uh, so, one thing you want to make sure of on your foot placement, you're about shoulder width apart, slow slightly, slightly uh, pointed out, outwards, and then uh, you're going to grip outside of your leg. Uh, so, just an overhand standard grip. Uh, and one thing that is different from the squat is you don't want to be looking upward. You want to be looking out about seven to 10 feet out in front of you. Make sure that you have a, a very straight point between your hips and the uh, top of your head. So as you can see, Tony keeps the bar super tight. You want that to stay as close to your body as possible. Make sure that you have that weight centered over uh, your body. Uh, so the second variation on this lift is the uh, sumo style. Um, the difference is mainly your foot placement. And uh, one of the things that this is going to focus more on is the legs, lower part of the body, whereas uh, the standard has a little bit more emphasis on the back. Uh, so with this, uh, with your hand placement, you want to just kind of let your hands hang down naturally. And typically, you know, maybe a little bit uh, less than shoulder width apart. He's showing you the uh, over-under grip, uh, which can sometimes be helpful uh, when you're lifting heavier weights to make it more stable. Uh, so legs are a few inches uh, from each plate. You know, you just want to keep that about, you know, where you feel comfortable. Um, and then same technique other than that. So one thing that the uh, sumo style will help you with is uh, Typically, you can do a lot more weight because you have a lot more of that leg power coming in, uh, which is where most of your power is going to be coming from. Uh, so next, we're going to go on and we're going to show you a little bit about uh, some of the bench tech. So now we're here with uh, Josh, one of our other uh, Team Warrior athletes.
athletes, and he's going to show us the proper technique on incline bench press. How you doing? So uh, one of the things that uh, you want to remember on incline bench press is uh, is the positioning. So you're going to start with your feet. Uh, you want your feet to be firmly planted so that that stabilizes the body. Uh, and then as you lay back, the main thing that you want to focus on is squeezing those shoulder blades together. What that does is uh, if you think of a bridge, um, uh, when they typically build a bridge, it's, it's going to have a V structure in there to stabilize it. So if you're, uh, if you're putting your shoulders forward, all that pressure is going to come down directly on those shoulders and that's where you're going to get shoulder injuries from. So you want to make sure that those shoulders are as, as far back as you can put them so that all that weight is focused in a V right on the bench so that it's, it's going to stabilize you. So, uh, so you're going to get your shoulders back. On the hand placement, make sure that you don't go too wide. Uh, because that also is going to put more pressure on those shoulders and that's the worst injury that, that you want is a shoulder injury. So uh, typically uh, when, when you come down with the bar and your arm is about a square, that's about the right placement for hands on the bar. So he's got his hands placed here. Uh, one of the differences between uh, incline and uh, standard bench is going to be the positioning when you come down. So you're going to slowly uh, let that come down, control it. And as you can see, he's coming to the top of the chest, uh, whereas in the standard bench, you come down to the bottom of the chest. So you want to keep that high so that it puts more tension on the top part of that chest muscle. Uh, another thing that you want to pay attention to is breathing. So as you uh, go down on your negative, you want to inhale, allow that oxygen to come into the lungs, and then as you press, you're going to exhale out. Um, so you got to breathe while you're lifting. If you're not breathing, uh, it's, it's not going to go so well. So thanks a lot, Josh. Uh, next, we're going to go on. Uh, we have a few ladies from Team Warrior. They're going to show you a little bit on some lunges and uh, some bicep technique. Okay, so now we're here with uh, one of our uh, Team Warrior gals. Uh, this is Lacey, uh, who's actually been one of the top uh, first place finishers for MPC. Uh, she's going to be competing nationally, uh, so she's got a lot of experience. And what she's going to demonstrate today is proper uh, curling technique. So uh, the first thing that you want to remember when you're doing a bicep movement is what does the bicep do? Uh, so a lot of people, you know, you all know that it moves up and down, but it also supinates the uh, forearm, and it also causes some shoulder flexion. So uh, those two things are, are uh, two things that a lot of people forget about. So as you notice, uh, when Lacey uh, starts, she's got her hand in a, uh, with her palm facing towards the camera. And as she uh, curls it up, she's gonna supinate that arm so that her palm's facing upwards. And so what that does is it gives you a better peak contraction because you're getting a full contraction of muscle rather than just partial. Uh, so, if you're just doing a standard hammer curl, uh, that doesn't get you a full contraction of the bicep like the supination curl does like this that she's showing here. Um, the other thing that you really want to pay attention to is control. Uh, most people curl way too much weight and they use a lot of momentum and they use a lot of cheek curls and a lot of back movement. So, the worst thing you can do is use momentum to swing that weight up and uh, then let gravity pull it down because that does nothing for the muscle. You want to make sure that you keep tension on that muscle 100% of the time because when the tension's on that muscle, that's when it's going to cause it to grow. So, thanks Lacey. So now we're here with uh, Tawny. Uh, she's another one of our uh, Team Warrior Athlete gals. Uh, she's also Placed the first place in the MPC shows. She's competing nationally, uh, so a lot of experience as far as what it takes to get the body in shape. What she's going to show us is how to do proper lunges. Uh, so, ladies out there, if you're needing an exercise that's going to shape your legs, this is one of the biggest ones that you can do. It's going to have a lot of effect on that leg tone. Uh, so, first thing that you want to do is uh, same thing with the squat. We're going super low. If you notice how low she's going. That's going to activate more of those glutes, the, super, the lower that you go. The other thing that you're going to be looking at to focus on is where's that knee coming at? 
at the bottom of that movement. You want to make sure that knee doesn't come in front of the toe to make sure that you have full tension on that muscle. Uh, and the other thing, this doesn't really take a lot of weight. Um, just if you're doing the technique properly, you're going to get results. So don't think that you have to go heavy on these. Uh, thanks, Tony. And that uh, concludes uh, our lifting session today on proper technique. Thanks for joining us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed our tips on proper lifting technique. And we are glad to introduce some of our uh, team warrior to you today. So if you want some more in-depth training on supplementation and proper nutrition, we're going to be hosting a Bodybuilding 101 seminar on November 15th from 10 to 12. It'll be here at the Rec Center. Come into our store at 1060 West Market Drive Suite 1 right behind McDonald's and Smith's. You can sign up there or you can also call 781-2965 if you want to call and get your place set up. Thanks for having us.